Well, I thought the Premier League's been um, a fantastic year. I think Antonio Conte with Chelsea has done a wonderful job. I think there was lots of question marks when he first came into the job, but he's been um, he's been nothing short of amazing. I think a lot of the big players, Diego Costa, Eden Hazard, who struggled the year before under Jose Mourinho, really come to the fore, along with Fabregas, you know, Pedro. The defence, I think, have been uh, amazing. He got a lot of criticism when he brought David Luiz back in, but he's been fantastic. And of course, the, the player of the year, and Golo Kante, has had a wonderful year as well. So, all in all, I think Antonio Conte and the Chelsea boys deserve a huge amount of credit. I think they've had a fantastic year. Well, La Liga has just been, um, I think, all about one man, really, and that's Zinedine Zidane. He's had a, uh, since he's taken over as Real Madrid manager, He's been nothing sort of um, magnificent. Yes, it was a close run thing in the end with Barcelona, but I think everybody thought Real Madrid was the outstanding team. I think along, alongside uh, Zinedine Zidane, the likes of Toni Kroos, Luka Modric, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo, who seems to score goals every single year, year in, year out, and um, you know has, has had another marvellous year. But um, Real Madrid have been fantastic, and they're, they're on course to... Um, to to go and, um, and win the Champions League again. And if they retain the Champions League, they're the first team ever to do that in its current, um, its current format. So I think Zinedine Zidane and the Real Madrid side have been fantastic as well. Well, just before the game, it's, uh, <coughs> it's very tense, but the amount of people in the dressing room who've been in those type of situations before, excuse me, <coughs> who've been in World Cups, who've played in European Championships, the experience in the dressing room is amazing. So there's, it, there's a lot of confidence as well in the dressing room. It exudes confidence and I think that really, that really helps. When you've been in those situations before, I think when you look back to, for instance, the semi-final when Juventus played Monaco, there was a vastly experienced team against Monaco who were very inexperienced. You saw that the experienced teams can get the job done and that's what, what, what I felt like playing in the Real Madrid teams. They'd won it in 98, so to go back to the final in 2000, it seemed like second nature to a lot of the, a lot of the players, and that, I think, really, really helped. Well, I, you know, Ambrose, you live there. It's a, it's a wonderful experience. When you see hundreds of thousands of Real Madrid fans out on the streets at two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning, cheering the team along, um, it's an incredible experience and the fact that you can celebrate in, in this, this statue in this area, a fountain called Fabeles in, uh, in Madrid, it's a, it's a very unique landmark and it's very unique to Real Madrid. So the fact that you can go back there, celebrate with the fans, I think is fantastic. I see the final, like most people, being very, very close. Juventus have got an incredible defence. Um, Real Madrid always score goals, so it's this you know, this, this wonderful attack against this you know, unmovable object in defence, really. But I, I can see Real Madrid just winning the final, only because Real Madrid know how to win finals. When they get there, they can get over the line by fair means or foul. It doesn't have to be pretty, they win. Juventus have lost, I think, the last seven out of eight finals. They haven't won it in 21 years. There's lots of lovely little subplots. Sami Kadiri used to play for Real Madrid, Gonzalo Higuain. You know, wanting to, wanting to prove his old team wrong. You've got Morata who wants to go back to Juventus and try and win. And of course, you've got Zinedine Zidane who played for Juventus in the Champions League final, lost. He's going back as Real Madrid manager. I think it's going to be incredibly close. But I think the likes of, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, Toni Kroos, Luka Modric will have the, will just have the edge over <coughs> that magnificent defensive line of Chiellini, Benucci and Barzagli.